Hi, if you've watched my other videos, you'll know I've got this Innov Antennas 2 meter Yagi and I've been using that portable for contesting and really enjoying it. So I've been keeping an eye out to find an affordable 70 SEMS uh, beam to try out uh, 70 SEMS uh, SSB contesting. Uh, the opportunity arose uh, and I got a, an 18 element uh, Yagi uh, second hand. And this video is about uh, just uh, preparing it, uh, reconditioning it, and uh, testing it out on, on 77s. Hope you enjoy. So these are some of the original uh, advertising pictures uh, for when the Yagi was for sale. Uh, and you can see at the top there, it's a, a Quagi, uh, a quad uh, dipole and reflector, uh, and a Yagi, uh, Yagi directors. Um, overall, the Yagi's in very good condition, uh, just the uh, the 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 connection point uh, required some work and with a bit of help from club members and some internet scouring uh, it looks like this is a a, a j beam para beam uh, antenna or a, an exact copy uh, other than the fact it's one kilogram lighter than the uh, the 3.4 it says here in the in the catalog so it's either a copy or or the original but with uh, a lighter version so the connection housing was rammed full of silicon sealant to presumably waterproof it, but clearly it didn't do its job. You can see here the uh, coax connection is all rusted uh, and the coax itself was uh, corroded and, and rotten really. Uh, so with a tug of war and some pliers, managed to get all the silicon sealant out uh, and uh, make make this uh, uh, a decent job. Um, but the uh, lesson here is if you do buy antennas uh, or, or other items of equipment, worth checking them out before you try them out on your equipment because this could have been a bit of a disaster. The coax stub as well that was attached to this, the far end, the end socket wasn't connected properly as well. So, so a lesson learned there and a, and a tip if you're buying second hand. So this is the beam temporarily set up just so I can work on it and you can see it's all in all in good condition and down this end we have the square dipole and reflector 18 elements in total and this is the uh, connection that I've cleaned up and put new bolts in, uh, removed all the sealant and you can see the matching circuit to get 50 ohms. Um, so braid attaches to here and centre to there and then the coax comes out the top and from one photo I've seen on the internet from many a year back it goes up loop down onto the beam itself and then down, down the mast. So now I've just got to attach the coax stub so it's ready to uh, to test. So for my common mode current choke, I'm going to use type 61 ferrite, which is good for impedance at uh, 70 sems and VHF in general. And there's these two types here, and that's uh, rough, well, give or take a 10 mil center. I think that was uh, 12 mil. Uh, now that one, I'll just get some coax. This is Wesk Flex 103, so it'll be similar to RG213 and so on. It is extremely tight. There's no way I'm going to get that on there. Whereas the uh, larger ferrite easily goes on, but it's a bit too loose. And I think that will be okay, but what I'm going to try and do, because I've got some spare coax, is just rub this down with some sandpaper. Just take a little bit off, just so this smaller ferrite, which has the same performance as either one, I need to get four on there. So once I've connected that, I'll bear that off ready for the connection to the antenna. I'm going to just sand down a stretch of coax to take these. If it works, if it doesn't work, I'll cut it off and put the thicker uh, ferrites on. If it does work, once this is sealed with 
uh, self amalgamating tape or, or, or and or some electrician's tape uh, then that would be fine it wouldn't have damaged the coax that much I'm only going to take a, a fraction of that uh, sheath off uh, so that's what I'll try now so here we are back inside uh, apologies for the garage floor but there you can see uh, the coax sanded down just uh, a few thou or something off and those ferrites slide up neatly so there's just enough room for the cap and a bit of wiggle room to connect the uh, the coax to the dipole on the beam so there uh, common mode current choke in place and that will all get wrapped up uh, once I know the antenna is working properly and we'll uh, seal that up so it looks all neat and there's a, a sanded bit of coax you can see it's done nothing nothing to harm it so here we've got the coax connected the braid uh, is soldered onto that connector and attached to that nut and the cores uh, nipped down by that so just in case pulling the cap down uh, I need to attach a, an end plug socket on the other end uh, to attach to my feeder uh, and then we can do some tests So it's a bit windy today with Storm Kira, but here's the ferrites temporarily fitted. The coax going over under the boom and down to an end female. So we're outside, it's still blowing a gale. I just want to undertake a, a simple SWR test. Ideally, you would either have the antenna at height or pointing straight up at the sky. Uh, unfortunately, I can't do either today, so it's very low down. Uh, we've just got some coax uh, running back into the garage. So here in the garage we're on uh, 70 SEMS, um, we're on CW, uh, very low power. I've got the Yesu meter measuring power out, uh, but I've got the KPO HF, VHF, UHF meter. Um, so we'll see uh, the key up. So we're getting the 4 ish 5 watts out. And there we go, with an SWR of 1.03, uh, near to the calling frequency. So now, if we, uh, if I up the power to a full 50 watts, I'll try again, and key up, still 1.1, so that's looking really good. And if I move around the band, uh, down 1.09 and if I move the other way and key up 1.1 so hopefully that SWR will stay the same or get better uh, with the antenna at full height which would only be about 6 metres off the ground working portal anyway so a good result I think. Well, it was a bit niche but I hope you enjoyed this video. My intention uh, if the winds from Storm Key ever managed to drop in time is to work stroke P on Tuesday night on the 70 SEMS RSGB contest. Uh, I've literally got single figure 70 SEMS contacts in my log uh, so it'll be interesting to work a Yagi and hopefully build that up and hopefully prove the Yagi works and if I can I'll, I'll take another video. Hope you enjoyed this one. Bye bye.